Hi guys, welcome back to our video. Today we're doing a little planting of our some flowers here. Hyacinths. Well, hy this is hyacinthus. Yeah, so we're planting this. These flowers right here, the aroma is amazing. I have a friend in California that bought some for for me and it was just amazing. I love it. And it's also um, the deers don't come and eat your your plants as well. So this is deer resistant. Deer resistant. I don't think they like it. So I'm going to be able to enjoy this all year long in the springtime. Using the Mother's Day gift. <laughs> the auger. The auger. And then uh, this area right here is part part sun and part shade. So it, it's perfect. And what we're going to do is we're going to plant like in front of these big tall flowers right here. Yeah, because those ones come back, right? The these ones. Yeah, the big tall ones. Yeah. yeah, these one comes back. But that's why you want, I, you want the smaller ones in front so you can see them so they're not being covered up by the or hidden behind the big ones. Yeah, so I bought two bags. So my husband's going to dig the ground. So there's 20 in a bag. Yeah, 20 in a bag. I'm sorry. So 40 total. 40 total. So we're going, I want them in the front. So he's going to dig some holes and we'll put the uh, plants in. Okay, I'm going to open it. This is fine. Sorry, I'm going to rip this. There's 20 here. It reminds me of like onions, right? They want us to plant it before the first freeze. Yeah. In our zone, it's uh, between September and November, but before the, the ground freezes. Yeah. So, and then... And then they will come back up in the springtime. So, and I mean, Mapei, September. This is the uh, planting well, season. The zones based we're off of in, where you live. We're like, we're like so around we're, here. Yep. So we're here, September, November. And perfect timing. Oh, okay. So I, I'll take it. This is the white one. And I put saw. Okay, and I put it. Just mix different colors. It's blue, white. Pink. Oh wow, look at this one. Block change my bump on my. Whoa, by knife change my bad and my. Well, it's starting to sprout already. We're just gonna mix it. I, you know, mix match it, whatever. Oh, I think it's gonna be beautiful during the springtime. Just to beautify your garden area. <laughs> I think it's important to have edible stuff, but it's also important to have flowers just because, you know, sometimes the uh, vegetables don't, <laughs> plants, they are just there. Well, yeah, the other thing too is this is right next to our pool. And so you figure if, the, if you have chlorine in the pool and you're splashing the pool water onto the plants, if it's vegetables, they're gonna absorb whatever you're treat, whatever chemicals you're using to treat your pool with. So if, uh, if you plant pretty flowers and stuff around there, not really edible, but I mean, like I said, I personally wouldn't wanna be eating a bunch of plants that are, are uh, you know, been absorbing a bunch of pool chemicals either. All right, but so you just kind of mix, mix the color well, all over. How about you hand me the bulb and I'll put it in. I mean, you can control whatever. Oh. Oh my gosh, this one is, I don't know what happened with this one. Maybe the glue tape. Ooh, it's sticky. I don't know what happened to that. We have six white bulbs. Okay. So I would say you put one, two, three, and then on the other side, same one, two, three. Okay. We're going to plant the roots down. Oh my God rotten but you know what let's put it in there in a way just because yeah, who knows? Know. plants are amazing okay and then i'm going go on that side yeah no, don't bury it yet
got deep enough now. Alright. So, how many bags of blue and how many two bags, bags of. Two bags of blues and then two bags of pink. 24 for blue. So. Blue, pink, blue, pink. It don't really matter, you know why? Because it's gonna produce babies, and then it just eventually it's just gonna mix up all over the place anyway. You put the roots face down, and then the pointy part up. Six. Yeah. So we can put three more here. And then just put two, three more. Right, there's that. All right, so it's a lot of young bantak. Give it water. That's it. I'm gonna be able to enjoy the flowers this coming mid spring. Thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Listen, hi.